handicap receive here, handicapping the racing from Woodbine Racetrack here on Sunday. It is July 19, 2015. I'm going to look at the stakes races from Woodbine here today. Um, races 6 and races 8. So let's get on to it. Today's sixth race from Woodbine is the is the 60th running of the Duchess Stakes. Uh, first $125,000 for three-year-old fillies, six horses traveling seven furlongs. Uh, I'm going to go with the one horse here, Potty Potty. At 8 to 5, Rico de Silvia, last time out. We're on a Woodbond on the EP Talent Turf course, 7 frogs on July 11th, Indy passing the mood stakes for under 25 grand. Uh, one by one and a quarter lengths, and I have to say, this horse is really driving on the rail that day. Um, really had a nice race. Start before that was May the 31st at Woodbine, 7 frogs on the poly track in the Lady Angela stakes for under 25 grand. Did not move at all, all, at all that day, finished third. Not his best run. Um, and then to start fourth out was first start of the year, five and a half frogs of Woodbine on uh, May, May the 9th. Won easily uh, first start back. Source has only lost one stops in the, uh, in the Lady Angela start. Um, Enrico de Silvia has been on this horse once already also. Uh, last star has a really good ride. And that Lady Angela uh, start, I don't... Personally, I really hate to criticize a jockey because I can never do that. I hate to criticize something I can't do, but I, I'm not a big fan of uh, of that ride uh, Patrick Husbands gave that day. I think that's why he was shown the door after that. But um, like like I said, um, I really like this horse here. So we're counting that's race number six from Woodbine Racetrack. It's the Lady, it's the Duchess Stakes. I'm gonna go with the one. Well, let's get on to race number eight from Woodbine. What is the tenth ring of the Nijinsky Stakes? Per, uh, grade 2 purse, $200,000 for thrills and upwards. We have 10 horses on post, and I have to say, this is my favorite race from Woodbine throughout the year. Um, you get a lot of good horses in this race. Um, this is a prep for something, I think. Um, I can't think of... It could be for the Sky Classic, maybe even for the uh, for the uh, Canadian International. I don't know, but you do get a lot of good horses running in this race. A lot of good horses have won it in the past also. This year, you have two horses coming in from Europe to run in it. Mom eighth of the EP Taylor Turf Course. Uh, and I'm gonna actually go with the two European invaders here. It's gonna be I'm gonna go with the four six. Number four, Lucky Speed, eight to one with Andre Starkey at uh, like I said, eight to one last time out. Has it starts at September seventh last year, uh, in, at Baden Baden in Germany. A mile and a half and the Langi Grossi Piers von Baden stakes. My German's a little better than my French, I have to say. Watch these videos. My French is horrible. My German's just a tiny bit better, maybe because I have an Austrian grandmother, but whatever. I uh, finished ninth by 15 and a quarter lengths. Um, he's run out two frongs out and just was really tiring. The distance, I think, was a little bit too long for that horse. Start before that was a month earlier, August 10th, in the Hopper Grafen in uh, Germany, a mile and a half, and a Grosse Pras von Berlin Stakes. Finished third by two lengths. Um, again, he was close to the to the leaders, and then just a little weakening that day. Um, and then to start fourth, I was in the Lucky Speed Hansen Priest Stakes at Hamburg, a mile and a half. Finished fourth by four and a quarter lengths. Um, at this distance of a mile and an eighth, has run once, or close close to a mile and an eighth. Um, his last win near a mile and an eighth was a mile and a quarter at Munich in 2013. In uh, the Bavarian class, one by half length. A very nice win that day, also. I'm going to go with this one. First time Lasix. Really like the Lasix for this horse. Um, so hopefully it should uh, really help this one. I'm also going to go with the six horse Electro. Another German bred horse at 20 to 1. Uh, with Pizarro in the saddle. Last time out. Run at Hanover in Germany. May 25th in, U in the Union Investment Stick Cup. Excuse me. Finished fifth by five and a quarter lengths. Uh, very nice run that day. Start before that was a Mercy Boily in France, November the 9th in the, hopefully I say this right, and the Grand Prix de Marseille Stakes. It was six by 17 lengths. Just wasn't into it that day. Um, uh, finishing six by 17 lengths. I'm just saying why. Um, and then start before that was in Hopegraten in Germany, Mom 8th in the Bellevue Ostak Stakes. One by two lengths. Uh, another easy win. Uh, again, this horse one. This horse is also getting uh, Lasix for the first time. Should really help this horse. So we count my bets for race number eight from Woodbine. It's, it's the Nijinsky Stakes. Gonna go with the four six. Good luck to all. And please follow me on Twitter at three sixteen picks. Good luck, everybody.